everyone. Uh, welcome to my first tutorial for RPG Maker 2003. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a RPG. First we're going to go up here, get this little piece of paper, and we're going to make a new project. I'm just going to name mine Test Project 1. And the game title is going to be Game test one. I'm click OK. Now this huge map of water is going to come up, and you know we can't do very much with that. So we're going to go down to map one, right click map properties, and I'm going to change this title to Town One. We're going to change the tile set to Town just because I like my character starting in the town. I'm going to change the dimensions. Probably going to be... I'm changing mine to... 50... 30. Click OK. Now zoom in and... much better. Much better size. Now we've got grass. I went up here to the paint, flood, fill, map, elements. I clicked on the grass, which is what I wanted. You can choose, you know, any tile that you want. Now, we're going to make a house. And now, you don't change the flood, fill, map, elements. You're going to fill in your entire tile set as a house side. So, I'm going to go up here says place map elements in a rectangular pattern. Now it's a rectangle. We're going to go up here to add the upper tile layer, or you can click F6. We're going to add some windows, and now we're going to add a doorway. Now, we don't want an open doorway like this unless we want, you know, someone coming by and breaking into it which that really wouldn't happen unless you made it happen. But you understand. Um, we're going to go... I'm going to get off of that. I'm going to right click on this. Oh, hold on. We have to change it to add event layer. We have F7. Sorry guys. Now right click. Now you can add new event. And this is how we're going to add the door. I always title my events because when you get a lot of events, it's confusing. House door one. Now, go down here to event graphics. We're going to set. And go down here, objects one. You can add whatever door you want. Now you've got the door. Um, why don't we spruce up this landscape a little? Go to the uh, edit the upper tile layer again, F6. Let's add some trees. Small trees. Now 
let's add a pathway. Back down to edit the lower layer tile, F5. I'm going to add this tile. Now, right click, place party starting position. Now you can place it anywhere on the map you want, and that's where your character will start. So when we go up here, play the game, got your character, and you've got a door, but you can't go inside. Now, we'll get to going inside later because you're going to need to create a whole new map and use teleports and all that. Right now we're just sticking to the basics. Now let's add a character for your character to interact with. Right click, new event. I'm going to name this um, Little Brother. Set event graphic. Now you have all these different characters to choose from. I'm going to stick with the boy. You can make him face any direction. I'm going to make him face up. Now, click on this, and this box will come up. You should come up on number one, but I was doing something earlier, so I was on tab two. But on tab one, you know, you'll have all these different things. Don't worry about them right now. Just go to message. Now, when you click on him, he's going to say something. Um, I'm going to make him say... Big brother, I'm locked out of the house. Click OK. Now every time you go to talk to him, you go up and click on him. He's going to say the same thing over and over and over again. I'll get you, I'll show you how to change it later where you can carry on a full conversation, if one and two. Um, let's add a hidden treasure. Go back to that. Now, I'm going to add a wishing well. And I'm going to put it right right there. Now go back to your edit the event layer, F7. Right click, new event. Leave the event graphic as it is. Leave it blank. Now, go up here to message. And we're going to have him find a potion. You found a You looked down the well and you saw a potion. Now, in order to make him, you know, get that potion and for it to be in his inventory, we're going to go in here again. Then you have an item management. You click on that. Now, we're going to add the item. We're not going to remove it. We're going to add it specific item is a potion. Now you've had you have all these, you know, different you know, items that you can add, but we're gonna keep it a potion because that's what he found. You can make it one potion, two, three, ninety-nine. We're gonna keep it as one. Okay. Now every time he interacts with the well, he's gonna find a potion. Every time. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add a switch, which you can go to a new page. Now you've got two pages. Go back to page one, click run underneath potion, and switch operations. Go to that, hit that. Now, see, you can have a hundred switches or even more. You can erase size. Right now, we're going to make number one. Potion and well. I'm going to apply. 
Okay. Okay. Now, go over here. Under Productions, Switch, Potion, and Well is the switch that you're going to need. Now, when you go back, click OK. You can go into the game. And you go up to this well. Let's look in your inventory first. Items, you have no items in your inventory. Okay. Now, click on the well. Hold on. Sorry guys. The event layer, you do not want it below the hero. You want it same layer as hero. You always want to make sure that it's the same layer as hero or else he's not going to be able to interact with it. Sorry guys, I should have checked that earlier. I normally do, but it's like 5.30 in the morning here. Okay, go up here, click on it. You look down the well and you found a potion. Go in your inventory, items, you have a potion now. Yay! Maybe you won't die. Maybe you will. Just all depends. Now, that's all we're going to do on this tutorial. Next tutorial will be um, making the inside of this house, you know, putting the layout. We're probably going to add another character in there to uh, interact with, and a couple other things to interact with, such as an actual treasure chest instead of, you know, the wishing well. And we're going to learn how to go from the inside of the house to the outside, or the outside to the inside. And I might add something else. It just depends on, you know, my amount of time and how I'm feeling. So keep on watching. I hope this tutorial was very helpful to you. And like I said, just keep on watching. Till next time. See you later, guys.